Sir Jack Hayward was born in the Whitmarines area of Wolverhampton as a young boy. He went to Molyneux to see Wolverhampton Wanderers play football. Then later in life, he became a very successful businessman. And in 1990, he purchased Wolves for just over two million pounds. He was at Molyneux for 17 years. And during that time, he developed the stadium to what it is today, although it's been developed further since then. But back then, it was very different to what you see now. He also wrote off debts and used his own personal money to buy players. All in all, it's estimated that he invested £70 million of his own money into the football club. When he finally did sell to Steve Morgan, he did so on the basis that the club was sold for just £10. That's how much he made from Wolves when he sold it. But the condition was that the new owner had to spend £30 million of his own money invested into the club. During his time, Wolves made the Premier League just for one season. And I was actually there at the championship playoff in Cardiff, what was then the Millennium Stadium. And the shirt that I'm wearing now is what the players wore during that season. I bought this at the time and like all fans, wear it to games. And they wore this when we beat Sheffield United 3-0 in Cardiff. And this is the Express and Star from Tuesday, May the 27th, 2003. And on the cover there is Sir Jack Hayward with Dave Jones, who was the Wolves manager at the time. And also down there in the bottom left corner, a street near Molyneux is to be renamed in honour of Wolves Supremo, Sir Jack Hayward, to celebrate his 80th birthday. Sadly, he's no longer with us anymore. Molyneux Way will be called Jack Hayward Way. What a fitting tribute to the man himself. And rightly so, in my view, in my all-time top five Wolverhampton Wanderers Legends.